Good. Hello and welcome. <laughs> hey guys. I'm Lucky from the Matt Loggy and Richo Show. Jake couldn't be here today because he's been a little fucking faggot and he's a... Just call him a faggot. Yeah, just call him a faggot. <laughs> Post him small wall please. and make him a faggot. Fuck you. This is going to be the start of our new series <laughs> called... <laughs> what will we call it? We'll call it How to Survive Zaps. Zombie. Zaps. Zombie Apocalypse Protection Services. Awesome. Yeah. These are the survivors we found. Yes. And we're going to be teaching you motherfuckers if you're out there and you're not a zombie how to survive a zombie apocalypse. I know this isn't good, but you better watch it. Yeah. Awesome it's intro! A, it's been a zombie apocalypse. And, and as, uh, as you all know, the uh, the current events from the 2012 conspiracy have happened here in Blackall. And you, you can... There's no cast or anything. No, that's we are we that's are putting our we're putting our lives in danger by mm. being here just for you guys <laughs> to protect you because it's first happened here because all the stupid people caught from living out here. Then our zombies and we're gonna in, in the 2012 thing it is legitimate happening happening. So we're gonna help you guys survive through it and, and um, be your yeah. lifesaver. Yeah, we uh, chance. we hope you uh, enjoy what we uh, have to show you guys and. Uh, We'll probably leave it there and tell you lots of stuff about good stuff and stuff. Yeah, hey fun. guys, this is our first episode of How to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> what is our first rule? Our first rule today for you guys is we need food. Here's a great example, follow me. So we just got to walk around and search the perimeter for any food stuff that we've left behind by former humans. And um, that's okay, that's uh, no, um, those are actually leaves, those are actually leaves, so you don't eat them. But what we have here, nice example Pringles left by our former humans. Now we're just gonna be careful, be careful. we're just gonna show you how to eat these. Now, with this rule of finding food is how to eat it. So what you're gonna have to do, it must reach your mouth. Do not do what I do today. This is just to show you that we, you must not do this. Mouth. This is your mouth here, if you uh, wanna come closer. Uh, this is your mouth, right there. And this is food. Now what you wanna do with this food is put it in your mouth. What I'm gonna show you now is how not to eat food. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> but um, if you really actually want to eat food, we've got um some scraps that uh f fell out from this uh, Pringles packet, and we're just gonna show you. Pick it up, still good, still fresh, and just let's pop it in. Mmm, yeah. it's quite bland. <laughs> it's bland. Yeah. Fucking, it's really delicious. It's delicious. Find some rocks to eat. And um, this one. That's just. That's just a that's just a bit of what we've got. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, but with these, you need great responsibility. Green vegetables every day. Follow me. We we'll go to the garden. What do we have here? What do we have here? Not much. Oh, what's that? Um, Bushweed. What kind of a bush? Is that? So we're just going to show you the native bushland that comes and grows in this region of Australia. So what we have here is sp sp spindly toes and uh, what this is great for nutrition and valgy <laughs> and <laughs> what you, uh, you want to do with this is full of protein and uh, you want to pull off the bottom bits like this. Actually I'm take this out. <laughs> we don't want to waste a little tiny bit so we're just gonna, just gonna, just gonna pop it in. Mm. Mm. That's, uh, you don't want to waste any of it, so don't let any of it fall out of your mouth. And if it does, you got to try and... Um, we have come across a zombie bone here before. This, mm. is, this is a human bone. And... <coughs> don't eat this, because you will become infected. This is just a perfect example. Oh. I didn't. Mm. So I just finished my breakfast. Mm. <coughs> and, oh. um, yeah. You cannot survive a zombie apocalypse without food. You 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 either die from falling over, or zombies, or AIDS, or 
or hunger is probably our main one. Now, along with food, we need water. That is what you need to survive. Follow None me. of these taps will work because, <laughs> of course, everything has gone down. Nothing uh, works because no one has it to work. So what we've got here is some left out cans of soft drink. <laughs> and uh, there should be a bit left. And uh, you just... Uh, oh, I've missed it. Just, just pop that in. And that's pretty good. And that'll survive you for the... We'll just, we'll just, put, the, we'll just put the rest in. Yeah. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite sweet. It's got a bit of uh, dog shit and uh, antioxidants that are... Full of protein, and we'll just. This is your main We'll, just, we'll just put the. We'll just put the rest in. <laughs> mm. And uh, that's what you need to survive. It's great. And with this tin, great toothbrush. See with this dirt here. This and uh, there's, dirt. there's a. I think I think that's mm. dog shit in it. But <laughs> there will always be moisture in it, no matter what, because mm. the earth is made up of moisture. So what you want to do is just get get in there and just into. And, and no doubt some moisture will come out. <laughs> so, not not only not only can it come from dirt, the tin roofs of uh, small Holy shelters. Holy shit! Look at this. This, this is oh, shell. Wait, look this out! What have we found? What have we shell. found? This is a sign of water somewhere. So and with these, you put them up to your ears, and the louder it gets, you know you're close to water. So you want to just follow the. <laughs> it's just this way, guys. <laughs> And uh, it's the water's just around this corner. And look, we've even got another spare can of water. But look, bone dry. Still a good toothbrush, we'll save this for later. And you want to be careful. Oh, zombie hair. You want to be careful for that. This is it the is infection. infection. Yeah, that is the infection. You do not want to put this anywhere near your face. Otherwise, you'll oh, be you infected. Meant, yeah. Shit. Um. Good thing we have the uh, thing, the uh, vaccination to uh, let's protect us. Yep. So just follow us, and we'll be going around searching for some more food and whatever survival thing we can get. So some, we found found some bones here. Uh, it's a dead dead zombie there. If you didn't see that. And if you follow us, yeah, you're gonna need water. Water is most important. You can live without food. Made up of 75% of water. You see, none of these taps work. So you can't just resort to taps. Nothing actually, nothing actually, a actually works. See that? Here. No, none of it. Nothing, nothing at all. So what we've had to resort to? Searching fridges. <laughs> and is there other survivors? So we're just teaching them the, the strategies of how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay guys, so we've just stumbled upon a fridge that's been hiding in the front of this uh, old abandoned shelter. As you can see here, tin vans easy. Yep, I just uh, meant that. And uh, we're just going to search this fridge for some, some food. Or... So we've got a few bugs and delicious goodies in there, but you can't actually see it because they're not there actually. Really. And we'll check the fridge. There's nothing in here. So we've got nothing in there either. So Not only will you need food and water, but if you have dirty, disgusting, rotten clothes with zombie blood, with zombie spit, and human blood, and human spit, and all kinds of shit that be a yucky and like you do not want to be looking for food with disgusting shit like that on you. If you got hands on it and you eat it, it's gonna be like, Ooh. And you get like. So dry. we're just gonna show you a little technique we found in World War Two back in the day. So see this. Uh, my grandfather told me this, about this. This is, this is really effective actually, because you can actually like see this zombie blood on the hair. And just, just, just pop her in there, <laughs> and, uh, and just and turn it on spin dry, <laughs> and just and just wait for it. Yeah. And <laughs> that's what nothing works. I remember. Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit. We've got no. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> scratch that. Don't don't follow that. So, we've got an old abandoned uh, um, boat boat house. They sell boats in here, and uh, that'd be a good spot to find a sort of shelter. But but other than food. <laughs> You're gonna need to a good de a do good what is it a good offense is it a good defense or is it the other, vice versa I don't know. Thing is, <coughs> you're gonna need some sort of weapon of some sort and to 
This and, is a perfect uh, example. What we have here is the Mark 19 pistol, 24 caliber, uh, 24 clip mag. Now what we're going to have to do with this, when we find a unsuspecting zombie, we're going to hit it in the back of the head. For we're example, not going to shoot it. For example, we don't want to alarm I'll be them. the zombie for this. For example. has no idea that we're here. So what we're gonna have to do here is take it. And just like that, it's uh, that's how it works. Uh, we might have actually killed him accidentally, but we've got some uh, life-saving techniques. So, of course, with death, you need to know how to do first aid. So we walk over, hands to the side, so the blood can circulate through the rest of his body, legs open. If we grab this big stick, <laughs> or a bit of, bit of, just a bit of copper wire such as this, we've got it surrounded in a plastic tape. And what you're going to have to do is, you, uh, you, you rub it along the lips of the patient, so it stimulates their body cells. And then, you, uh, you put it right in the ringer, so we're just going to have to blank this out, right in the ring hole. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's revived him. <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling? Great, I'm good. I actually feel really good. You feeling a bit of pain? No, a bit of pleasure uh, actually. Sore underarms or? A bit of pleasure actually. Well, there you go. That's, that's, how you, uh, that's how you wake him up. And there's no, there's no life there. There's no there's life. No life. There's no life. There's actually just zombies. There's, there's, if you're hearing cars, it's not. It's probably actually like zombies <coughs> running really fast. <laughs> But, um, see how that can resemble it. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you survive day one of finding food, water, first aid, weapons, and obviously how to kill someone. So, next episode, guys, we'll, um... Oh, hang on, we didn't cover strongholds. We're going to be going deeper into every one of these categories every week. And we forgot strongholds. What kind of fucked up world is this without a stronghold? It's going to need to be close to water and all sorts of accessibilities that I'm not going to put up yet. Just in case you guys, you know, cheat and get ahead and, you know, tell no, other people. Getting the bumps. Yeah. It's um, what you get from food deprivation. <laughs> um, that's what we call it out here, is the bumps. <clears throat> and uh, as I said before, with our survival techniques, just pick it up off the ground and just... Remember, just suck. Suck. There's moisture in everything. If you need... Drink. And that was absolutely delicious, so we're gonna end it here? Yeah. I think we'll end it here guys. As we said before, first aid, food, survivors, water, strongholds, I don't know. And um we'll just add the rest on. Apparently they say confusion is the first sign of it. Police aren't here to help you. So don't rely on them. Well uh See you next time, guys. If we're not dead, which we make probably, sure. which we probably are. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay uninfected, and make sure you watch our videos. Zaps are here to protect you from the aliens, zombies, and zombies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>